I'm making this video to show you guys what makes my latest glue crystal cell batteries so special. And the latest glue cell battery, crystal battery, is made up of these three ingredients. Elmer's glue, salt substitute, and Epsom salt. Right now I want to show you the control, which is just Elmer's glue, copper, and aluminum. All it is is just glue. I'm going to hook it up to the meter and show you guys where we're coming from. As you can see, that's the voltage coming off that single glue cell. And yeah, she fluctuates crazy. Let's see if I can make it any better. But there we go. Some heavy fluctuation from just Elmer's glue and two different metals. Next, have a cell which is Elmer's glue and Epsom salts only with the two same metals are two are the copper and aluminum. Hook it up and show you guys. And that's what's coming out of that cell. 26, 27 millivolts from that cell. And there's the wires. So not much is coming out of that. It's a lot worse than the control cell. Now it's starting to drain. Alright. Get that out of the way. Now I'm going to show you guys the Elmer's glue and salt substitute cell with copper and aluminum. Alright, suck it up. This one does a little bit better, but it's not as good as the uh, new crystal cell, glue crystal cell I've made. But it is better than the uh, cell before this one. But this one is just still not as good. Also, I'm in a cell just to branch off a little bit here. This has the ingredients for the latest glue crystal cell, but it's copper and copper, and not copper and aluminum cells. So I just thought I'd just show you guys this cell. Doesn't produce much. It'll even off here soon. As you can see, this one fluctuates like crazy too. This one kind of sort of shows the same effects of the different metal ones. Now, we have the latest glue cell, and this is one of the original ones I made back on the 7th of the month, 11th day of 2011. So this one's kind of old, or it's one of the original ones. I'm just going to hook it up and see the power it's putting out. Point five eighty ish, and it floats around, goes up and down, up and down. It will find a happy medium and stay there. What's interesting about this cell is that it doesn't show any deterioration of the plates after being shorted out for many days. Even weeks, I'm um, pretty sure months too. Haven't tried months yet. Haven't made it to a month of shorting one out. Um, it's still going strong. They still produce the same amount of voltage. What's odd, this one hasn't even gone up. They started out 0.558 volts. Now we're close to 0.570. Or 0.580 if you like. And I just wanted to show you guys where I'm coming from with these cells. Uh, where I've uh, started out with was uh, the control which was not very much power and that control will actually keep on going down 
I uh, just wanted to show you that these two ingredients, the magnesium sulfate, or magnesium chloride, I mean, it's located in this salt substitute and this Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate combined together with Elmer's glue does produce a remarkable cell when you use copper and aluminum wires. It's very important to use copper and aluminum as I found out. I haven't tried very many other metals, but this combination works really well. And it keeps on producing power, even if it's shorted out for many weeks.